Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to track your workouts, log your meal plans, add progress pictures, update your metrics, measurements, and if you wanna upload your weight, you can do the same thing there, okay? So let's get started. Let's go back into the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my PT Hub. Remember, you may have a different icon that says Joey Speaks Fitness, whatever one you have, choose that. So I'm gonna choose my PT Hub. And we are now, so remember, we're going to go ahead and uh, X out of this connector devices because we're not going to connect any devices. We want to make sure we just go through the Joey Speaks Fitness app. And so we are at our hub page. This is our action page. So up at the top, you see today and then activity. We went over that last time. Um, so we're just going to go right into uh, start a workout. So like I said, this is our action page where you're going to track all your information. So let's just say it's day one, it's Friday, and you're gonna do your leg workout, okay? So you're ready to go, boom, let's go Let's go work out, okay? Start a workout, I'm gonna click on start a workout, and now we're at the start session page. So it says, are we starting the workout now? Yes, so leave it um, highlighted in blue. Follow a workout template, yes. So um, available workouts, I can click on select a workout, and it's gonna show me the five workouts that I've assigned to you uh, for this challenge, okay? So today is our leg workout. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the leg workout, which is the fourth one. And so let's click that and then click done at the bottom. And so it brings right back, to, right back to this page. I'll click start. And now I am ready to work out. So if you remember in the last video where it just showed information, um, the pounds were basically there. There was no box around it. It was just a number. And then also to the right, you didn't see that check mark with the boxes below the check mark because this is how we're basically going to track what we do. So before we go any further, remember, um, we were looking at the dumbbell goblet squats. Same idea here. If you want to look at the video and see what the guy is doing or how to do the actual exercise, go ahead and click on the video uh, the video itself or the words dumbbell goblet, goblet squats. And it's gonna give us a quick video tutorial. So let's do that again real quick. Push play. And we get our video tutorial. Now. Um, or um, let me go back there one more time. So I'll click that on that again. And remember, if I don't do not want to look at the video, if I just scroll down some, it's going to give me an exercise description in um, in text. Okay, so you can get one of two ways to be able to see exactly what you should be doing. So let's go back. Okay, so now right below where it says dumbbell goblet, goblet squats, you might see a little note right there. Go ahead and click that drop down right there where it says hold one 25 pound dumbbell under your chin and close. And then I'm going to click that down arrow. Uh, and close to your chest. So that's the note that I leave in there for you. There may be a note for each exercise. There may not be a note for each exercise. So just make sure that you check and see, okay? All right. So uh, we're about to start our workout. We're doing double gob dumbbell goblet squats. So let's just say I just completed my first um, set, okay? So I gave you five sets here. I put, the, I put 25 pounds in for each set, but you will input the amount of weight that you use. I put this in as a starting point, but you may need to use a 15 pound, 15 pound dumbbell, or you may be able to use a 50 pound dumbbell. Totally up to you. I would say start off with 25, see where you're at, and then adjust the weight from there, okay? Make sure that you're always safe. So let's say we just completed our first set. I'm gonna go ahead and click the checkbox uh, to the right of the first set. And you notice that that check just got highlighted. Boom, so the first set's done. Now I just did my second set. I'm gonna click this, the next checkbox. My third set's done. My fourth set's done. My fifth set's done. And you know what, let me change the weights in here for you too. So let's say on my second set I did 45 pounds, okay? On my third set I did 50 pounds. So I'm just basically clicking on each box and changing the weight, you know, cause it's gonna bring up the a, a number graph right there for you to be able to put the weight in. And so I did my, my fourth set at 50 pounds and I did my fifth set at 50 pounds. I click done, and then I click the check mark. So I'm done with that exercise, okay? So then you basically just go down, you do each exercise, insert the weight that you use, click the check mark to the right, that completes that set for you, okay? So then let's say we're, now we're on our dumbbell calf raises. We do the same thing. Let's say we're just gonna just use 40 pounds for each one. I'm just gonna click the check boxes. I'm done with that. Next one, Bulgarian split squats. I'm gonna check the, th uh, Check the three uh, check boxes. I'm done with that. Dumbbell jump squats. I check the three check boxes. I'm done with those. Next one is Romanian deadlifts. I check the three boxes. I'm done with those. Last one, you're going to be doing uh, 25 minutes on the treadmill. You get done with your uh, treadmill walk. Click the box. So at this point, you're done with the workout. 
okay? So you've completed all the sets, you've checked all the boxes, you've adjusted the weights when you need to. When you're done, you scroll, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click finish workout. Let's click finish workout. Okay, awesome. You finished the workout. Is there anything you want to, um, is there anything you'd like to, to note about this workout? Sure. It was great. So leave a little note and you can put whatever in there. If you liked it, if you loved it, if you hated it, whatever the case is, you know, put your notes in there because I can see them. But you, when you go back and look at these workouts, you're going to be able to see what you thought about that workout. Okay. Maybe it was too hard. Maybe you had to adjust the weight, whatever the case is. Put as many notes in there for yourself as possible so you can have us so you can always go back and look at it okay so don't worry about saving it as a template just go ahead and uh, uh bypass that click finish and it's going to take a minute uh to render itself and then now it's done so right when your workout is done it's going to ping me and say hey uh lilia just finished her leg workout and then I can go and I can check and see what weight she did, if she finished all the exercises, how long it took for her to work out. It basically gives me all the details that you can see, okay? So now this is this should show up in my activity right here. If I go ahead and click on activity, so now my workout, I, I, I log my workout, my ladies only leg workout, and there it is right there, okay? So then if I click on it, it shows me exactly what I did. So here's my feedback. It was great. Here's what I logged. My dumbbell goblet squats. These are the weights. And so it just basically kind of runs down everything that I did. And it shows me everything that I did. So now I can go back at any time and look to see what, what was I doing on my first day. And then what was I doing on my last day. So this is really some powerful information, guys, for you to be able to go back and see what you did. Okay? All right. So that is starting and tracking your workout let's go back to today and we are back at our main hub page okay let's go on to log our nutrition so we're going to basically track our meal plan so let's go and click on log nutrition and so now you're going to have some options it says select your nutrition plan so on, you, you'll see in the other video of how you should choose your starting meal plan, but let's just say you're going to start with the 1500 calories. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and choose 1500 calories and click done. I'm ready to go. Okay. So my ladies only challenge 1500 calories. Um, we are not going to set up my fitness pal. We're just going to just click next. And so now you're going to notice you have these check boxes again so that every time that you finish an item of your meal, check this out. So I, I have my two, two egg whites. Uh, my calorie goal starts to get filled in up at the top. I have my egg right here. Then I have my flax seeds. I have my um, my organic oats. So my calories are at 354 into that 1500. Okay, it's at 1501. So let's say I, I've had a full day of meals. I click on all the boxes. Okay, I've eaten everything. I've eaten everything. I'm full. I feel like I'm stuffed. And so I'm checking all the boxes. I'm checking all the boxes because I've eaten all my meals. And, oh, you know what? I drank my water, too. Um, and let's just say I drank my gallon of water today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And and you get some uh, organic almond milk with this meal plan as well. So I did everything. So now, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and click on View Macros. So it shows my target on the left column, but then it shows how much I actually consumed in the total column. Don't worry about the, the, um, the numbers being off by one or two. Or, or a couple of uh, numbers. That's no big deal. That's the way the app works. So don't worry about that. So this is a great day. I completed everything that was in the meal plan. I checked everything off. And so now I'm going to go ahead and click save log. And so now my nutrition has been um, has logged. So now if I go ahead and click back on activity and I refresh my screen by swiping down, it shows me that I logged my nutrition for the day. If I go ahead and click on the little icon to the right side with a little spoon and fork or a knife or whatever that thing is, it's going to show me what I ate. It'll come here in a minute. There it goes. So it basically shows me everything that I ate. It tracks all the calories. So now I can go back at any time and say, hey, you know, like I was really losing weight when I was eating this specific meal plan. And what was I eating on day one? I can come back and I can see what I was doing, how much I, how much I was consuming. It basically, like I said before, guys, it's really powerful because it gives you everything that you need to know where you've been so you can know where you're going. Now, one thing that I, um, well, I, I 
did not show you when you were logging your nutrition is that so let's just say if we are back here in that same meal plan once you get done eating your first meal uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck these boxes for everything else okay I should have done this in the first place but that's okay so I'm unchecking all the boxes for everything else aside for the from the first meal so let's just say it's seven o'clock in the morning and I just ate my first meal okay and so I have eaten 354 calories so when I get done eating my first meal, I want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, bypassing the other meals because I because I have not consumed them yet. I'm going to go ahead and click on save log, and so it will only save that first meal. So when you go back into save, um, when it, when you go back into log your meals again, it will pick back up at your second meal. So for every meal, you just come back into the same one and you just track against that. Okay. All right. Hope that hopefully that was not confusing, but I think it made sense. Okay, guys, so that is how you log your meal plan, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go back. So I'm gonna just save and leave. And so my meal plan for my first meal of the day has been tracked.